Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a Solax solar inverter and you can see that this one's coming up with a fan one fault on the inverter and the red alarm lights on. Now if your Solax inverter is coming up with a fan fault like this, it means your inverter is not running. You do want to take action as soon as possible to get your system back into operation. So one thing you can try if you are having a fan fault issue like this is try a reboot of your solar inverter. Normally that's not going to rectify the issue, it's usually going to be a permanent fault, but it is worth trying. And to do that you would follow the shutdown procedure, such as this one here, which is we turn off the solar supply main switch, or inverter AC isolator, we've got an inverter AC isolator here, so we're just going to turn that one off. And then we turn off the PV ray DC isolator, so we turn off the solar coming into the inverter as well. Okay, so we've just turned the system off, the screen's gone completely blank, now we're going to restart the system. The startup procedure is nowhere near as important as a shutdown procedure, you just want to turn everything back on. We're going to turn on the inverter AC isolator again, and we're also going to turn on the solar DC. And we can see the inverter's waiting at the moment, It's uh, the green inverter light is flashing. If the inverter was actually operational, the inverter light would be on constant. So I was going for a starter procedure at the moment. You might hear the relay starting up. You can hear the fans running as it uh, tests them to make sure they're working properly. And there we can see it's come up again with a fan one fault. Now the fans inside the Solax inverters are just like this. If your inverter is under warranty still, it is something which will co be covered by Solax. They can send out replacement fans to, uh, to have them replaced. And in this case, with this model of Solax, the, there's two fans up here and one fan up here, which uh, requires the uh, front, the the top hood to be taken off with a screw here and a screw here. Underneath here is one, two, three screws, and there's two screws at the bottom. If you undo all those, you'll be able to access the fans below it. If the inverter is outside of warranty, you could try and get uh, third-party replacement fans. It is a relatively uh, common size. But I have found it where we've replaced fans before and as soon as we've replaced it, the inverter tries to start up and comes up with another fault. So if it is outside of the warranty, you might be throwing good money after bad. So if you're having to pay quite a bit of money to get new fans, well, you might be better off just buying the bullet and getting a good quality replacement inverter before warranty. So if you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland area and you've got an issue like this with your Solax inverter, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help. Don't hesitate to get in touch with us. If you're somewhere else around the world, I recommend getting in touch with a local solar accredited electrician who can assist you further. Thanks for watching this video.